Um, looking at the game, medyo nahirapan yung RSG against AP Brent. What do you think makes uh, Brent very strong? Uh, number one is their draft. The things that uh, hindi ko expect they will pick. For example, Tamos, unexpected pick talaga. Kasi usually, kapag may back siya, hindi mo na play, mo na play Tamos eh. Pero they play ano, Tamos para laning sa Arlot plus against the Cloud. Ganda nga eh, sa mga clashes. Uh, number two, siguro was regarding sa ikot nila. Yung nothing about Brenda I really like is that meron silang plano sa lahat ng stages of the game. Before the turtle or kahit yung level one, laning phase. And after the turtle, how they go to ikot, where they're going to vision, how they do Lord. So, honestly, kaya namin sila. That's what I feel. Kasi the game style, how we should play against Echo and Brenda is pretty much the same. Panalo sa first turtle, tapos after that, discipline, objective-based. Pero si feeling ko, mahirapan kami today sa heroes today. So, bayo lang kami next, uh, ano, next season, ano, sa next uh, round against Bren. Okay. Uh, coach, um, ano, anong reason kung bakit hindi pinaglaro si Nibor to, tonight? Um, so for this week, yung easy ko since we're fighting against your world caliber teams, gusto ko sana ano, try to use our starting lineup or main lineup. Um, so I can see what is the chemistry that we can show kapag we fight against the top tier classes of the ano, uh, team. So Nibor and RTC, may plano, may, may plano naman ako sa sunod. Mm. This is the first time that uh, RSG uh, came face to face with uh, with AP Brand. No, how uh, yung mindset ng players coming into this fight? Actually, medyo ano down some of the players yesterday because of the Echo game. Ako, I was I was very proud of them because they played much better than the screams that they showed. But um, today the energy was a bit different. Maybe because it was the game was too late, or maybe because parang medyo puyat sila kagabi. So again, mind control. Kailangan ko mag kailangan po magturo. Hello, hello. Hey, coach. Question lang. Um, hindi ko alam kung ako lang nakakapansin nito. Kasi parang uh, iba yung aura mo this season. Uh, as compared to how you were the previous seasons. Like pag natatalo kayo. Sobrang kita namin yung frustration mo. Ngayon, parang mas nakikita mo yung uh, magandang ginagawa ng players mo. Like, uh, yesterday's loss was to you, was very positive naman because there were some things that were done by the team na nagustuhan mo. Yeah, because um, frustration only comes kapag meron akong high expectation pero hindi nag-meet sa tournament. I'm not saying parang wala akong high expectation na yun. But right now, um, since we have a new roster, because Kai came back, tapos we have Kose, hindi pa buo yung team chemistry, lalo yung mga communication. For example, someone wants to do this, then dapat lahat sila sagot kung G or hindi. Pero kulang sa ganun eh. That really showed sa game one, sa second, third. Um, ano pa ba? Tapos, they still need to make more plans during the game. But the team is still reacting about what about what's happening and then they will make a plan yung mga top tier teams talaga meron silang plano lagi level 1 plano what to do before the turtle and then what to do after uh, so again that is something i'm still trying to teach every single day of the scrim and they are getting it naman but again it's not only about the things that i need to teach them but some mechanics communication discipline tapos yung advanced thinking plus yung draft ko din kailangan ko mag-improve so again, I'm expecting naman that the first half of the season is going to be rough. Um, but you guys all know Arishi that kapag kapag ano malapit sa playoffs, iba yung iba talaga yung klase. So, oh, sorry. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, coach. From from what I understand, this is what you're saying that RSG, the current lineup of our RSG, the current RSG is a work in progress. Yeah. Hi. Thank you. Uh, my last question, coach Brian. No. Uh, during the media day, you revealed that um, you have a very ambitious plan of goal of becoming the first three-peat 
MPL champion in the Philippines. So that's very ambitious. Have you ever communicated that goal to the players? And paano mo sila ginagawang confident? Hindi ko naman hindi ko naman kailangan sabihin sa kanila that I want to make you guys the best team ever because we don't know what will happen once the season is over. We don't know what will happen in the future. When I said that my ambitious my ambition sa interview, I didn't say for my current lineup, pero that was my ultimate ultimate lineup. If ever I feel like the team is ready na. Team is not ready team is not yet ready na. So I'm not really thinking about my future plan. My current plan is to make them strong. Uh make them buo yung chemistry and communication. And pa rin, but kulang pa. Uh and then those kind of things it will really show when you meet against teams like Bren. Last question coach. Last season coach. One of the major uh, problems that RSG faced was the confidence of the players, no? With Irad, with Light. Is that still a problem this season? Yes. Confidence, si, um, si Jose, because he's still on the now getting compared by Emma and Lalo, yung mga sa public uh, fans and everyone. But he doesn't really give a. He doesn't really give anything about that. Tapos yun some players they are they are still parang lack of tiwala ano for this current roster. Alam nila malakas sila pero hindi nila alam that they need to really trust hundred percent and that can only work by winning sa scrims by showing good performance sa scrims. So tala so kaya kila nila magfocus na focus during the scrims talaga. But again, that long screams a day, five to six days a week. It's really hard to tuloy tuloy yung super hard focus every single game, every single day. So, um, and it doesn't really come from me where I can force them into. It has to come from the mindset of the players. Kaya having substitute like Nibor, chaka si RTC, it really helps because it gives the other player motivation then. Thank you, Coach Panda. Keith? Okay. Thank you, Coach. Uh, uh, Coach Daki, prior to the match, sasayaw-sayaw lang kayo lahat sa likod. So, um, what what kind of mindset did AP Bren have coming into this match against RSG? Uh, I th- personally, I felt that the boys were really confident going into this match kasi gusto-gusto nilang bumawi kasi natalo kami last MPL in RSG. And another thing is, I think we're more than prepared to like play against any other team na naglalaro dito sa MPL Season 30. Mm-hmm. What did you see were the weaknesses? Weaknesses of RSG tonight? Weaknesses? Huh. I, well, I think the most glaring one is the draft. I I think iba yung idea ni Panda. I'm not saying it's a bad idea, but we have different perspectives pagdating dun sa draft. Kasi, uh, I don't know, Yun lang draft sa I, I wouldn't expound on it because siyempre gusto namin medyo lamang ba kami baka ma ni Panda baka manood si Panda huwag ka manood ah Okay, speaking of the draft nagtamos kayo kanina no? Yes Oo, nagulat nagulat na yung RSG bakit kayo nagtamos? May back siya na May load sila eh mm-hmm. Yeah So, the counter kasi yung vengeance dun sa ultimate nung load Yeah Okay Any other questions? Uh, ang sabi ni Coach Panda din sa draft, do you think naman, Coach, uh, kung walang lamang sa draft kanina sa game, how would it have uh, went yung, yung laro? That's a very difficult question actually. Uh, kasi that's, parang ano kasi siya, mga what ifs, eh, na hindi naman natin mapapatanayin, but that definitely what I can say is that the, the, the team, RSG I mean, is a very strong team. So, kung okay yung draft nila and tama yung mindset nila, I think coming into this match, talagang pound for pound yung magiging laban sa kanina. Looking at, uh, sa week 2 na tayo, looking at all the teams that have played since week 1, sinong sa tingin mong pinakakakasa or papalag sa AP Bren? I think all other teams mga dito, kakasa yan, papalag yan. Kasi nga, sabi ko nga dun sa team ko, um, 
it's just a matter of time before you guys uh someone comes out na mas malakas sa inyo you know and the same on buying it but anything that comes up must go go down sa amigo sa kanila it's the only thing that we can control is kailan tayo babagsak kailan tayo bababa so we we will try our best na hindi siya mangyari uh until we're satisfied with ourselves 